An HTML form is used to collect user input and most times the user input is sent to a server for processing. A typical example is a login form. When you see a login form, what you're expected to do is to enter your, your username or your email address, enter your password and then you click the submit button. When you click the submit button, whatever you enter in the input field are sent to a server for processing. If you want to add a form to an HTML document, all you need to do is to use the form element. This form element is a container for different kinds of input elements like text field, checkboxes, video buttons, submit buttons, and so on. So HTML input elements is the most used form element because you can use it to display different kinds of elements depending on the type attribute. So if you set the type to text, you're going to display a single line text input field. And if you set the type to radio, what is going to be displayed is a radio button. If you set the type to checkbox, what is going to be displayed is a checkbox. And if you set the type to um, a submit button or you set the type to a button, what is going to be displayed is a submit button. The label element defines a label for many form elements. It is useful for screen readers because the screen reader will read out loud the label when the user focuses on the input elements. It's also useful for users that have difficulty on clicking very small regions because when the user clicks on the text within the label element, it toggles the radio button or the checkbox. The four attributes, the name attributes, action attributes. The four attributes of the label tag should be equal to the ID attributes of the elements to bind them together. Note that each input input field must have a name attribute for it to be submitted. If the name is, at, is, is omitted, the value of the input field will not be sent. The action attribute defines the action to be performed when the form is submitted. Usually, the form data is sent to a file on the server when the user clicks on the submit button. So, all these are a bit high level, but just try to understand what you can. The method attribute specifies the HTTP method to be used when submitting the form data. There's also an HTTP GET method and there's an HTTP POST method. The submit button, the input type equals to submit defines a button for submitting the form data to a form handler. A form handler is typically a file on the server with a script for processing input data. The form handler is specified in the form's action attributes. For more on attributes of the HTML form elements, input types, and input attributes, Please visit the following pages. Run the following code in your editor. Copy the code that is pasted here. Paste it in your editor and run it to see how it works. Finally, ensure that you practice all the codes that we have given so far and attempt your classworks and assignments. Do not hesitate to drop your feedback on the Google Classroom.